Hey guys, it's Lucas D. So, I finally had the guts to do Merciless Malachi and Merciless Piety in the Hardcore Talisman League, and it was pretty interesting, pretty fun. Um, I must say, uh, we're just on Piety now, and uh, this is the fight. I did think the fight was going to be a lot longer than I thought, but uh, we just managed to get one of the lightning attacks from her. And as you can see, the damage, if that touches me, I would pretty much instantly die. And the totems, you could see, died pretty quickly as well. But I chucked down the totems again, and boom, it was all over. So I was like, yes, it's over. And I was really happy with that fight. Um, Piety has always uh, been a pretty fearsome fight for me. When I first did her, I didn't know what to expect, and I did die from her on my first attempt when I did her when the uh, 2.0 expansion came out but this time around I was prepared and it was a good fight now we move on to the next part which is in the harvest and uh, I didn't know what to expect here I did know that I had a pretty solid build and I, I did think the totems would do a good job against the bosses so I didn't have too much fear with the mini bosses uh, when I was doing this but anyways um, so we, I, got, I wanted to get to the waypoint as soon as I possibly could and once I got there I was pretty happy with that and I just said okay let's do this let's get these bosses out of the way and let's get this achievement done so I can take out Merciless Malachi in hardcore so uh, we move up now to the next stage so what I'm going what I normally do here is I just try and get to the bosses as quick as I possibly can um, but I was pretty patient but um, so we had uh, the first boss was Chevron and sh she was not too bad um, I did not want to get hit by the lightning I haven't done this f these fights for a while now but I still was pretty aware of the mechanics of the fight and um, yeah so as you can see I just tried to keep my totems up and you can see my health on the left there it wasn't too bad of a fight at all and she was down quite quickly with this build and then I went in the portal and I moved on to the next boss so the next boss I went up to <coughs> excuse me and let me just uh, go on here so <laughs> Dodre we got to her next and yeah at the start of the fight she <laughs> whams smack down through I think two of those things on me and yeah my whole uh, energy shield was gone but luckily um uh, lucky I had pretty much the life pool was fine and everything and then I just stayed away from her and I made sure I didn't get hit after that and she was down pretty quickly too so we took her out nice and fast and then we moved on to the next mini boss now the next mini boss was probably um my hardest I thought it would be the hardest but he was actually pretty easy man like um I, I I made sure I didn't get hit maybe that's why but um I stayed out of the corpses I made sure the corpses didn't explode on me or anything like that and I tried to stay away from a crazy damage because I only had 20 percent um, chaos resistance so I had minus 40 chaos resistance in the merciless area so that fight was over pretty smoothly and then I was ready to do Merciless Malachi. Now I was a bit, you know, hesitant at first uh, when I was doing this video. I was like, should I do him? Um, I don't know about this fight. This is going to be very, very risky. And I just decided to go for it. So here's the fight, guys, and I hope you guys enjoy.
so in HC I had to use one portal in the end I had to use one portal I didn't want to use any portals but I did use one but I'm happy with that fight really happy so it's been done with the dual blade four totems and as you can see DPS is really really good it's just you gotta make sure you stay out of the damage but just like any build out there you gotta make sure you don't get damaged by Malachi so I'm Lucas D Thanks for watching. See you later.